opportunity to, for me to make a play for my team, and um, it was in a crunch time situation. So uh, I remember last week, I keep saying this, but last week uh, I missed a pick um, in Auburn. So I just wanted to come out here. I've been thinking about it all week. I got to give me one, and that's what I wanted to do. And I was able to do that, put in that position, and do help my team set up Kobe to hit that field goal. It was a very great feeling. Yeah, Traven said all week he was getting on you, maybe about, hey, yes. you got to get it a pick, yes. right? He was, all, he was telling me all weekend, he was saying, man, you don't want to be great. And uh, that's something I kind of let sit. I kept in the back of my mind because I had to get better from it. But it's something I definitely thought about. I mean, missing a pick in a big time game, it's, it haunted me. It haunted me. And to get that out of my system, it felt good. Really good. How long have you known Les? That's old. I knew Coach Miles for approximately nine, not, maybe between the spectrum of six and nine years, because I was like 12. Now it's seven years, seven years, seven years. What did it mean to be in, in the locker room after his 100th win and have such a pivotal role in that at the end? Uh, it was definitely amazing. You know, he's a genuine person, and uh, a guy like that, I, everybody loves to play for him. I mean, he's just, a, he cares about his players, he takes care of us, and it was just amazing for me to be a part of that and feel like some type of ownership with that and to watch him get that game ball on his 100th win. It was nice, man. I'm honored to be a part of it. Florida game was the third straight week you played a spread offense. Looked like you kind of got the handle of it a little more. And now you play the fourth straight week when you play Kentucky. You feel like you're kind of getting the zone reads and the different plays and options in the game? Uh, yes, uh, Coach, Coach Raymond does a good job with us um, as far as helping us execute against spread offenses. That's been our goal to do better against spread offenses this year and for us to come out and do better this year, or this game, rather. Uh, it was a great feeling, uh, and we plan to do that this week, too. Nothing's changed from the beginning of the season to now, so we're just looking forward to capitalize. What do you think you got better at in the third week? Um, I feel like we got better at just communication. Communication was a big deal with us, and um, actually staying, not, not staying too dialed in. Like, we'll have something going on sometimes, and you put your eyes in the wrong place, something can happen. We try to not do that, minimize that as much as we can. Can you talk about the pores of like, coming back and making a good line stand after the long pass? That was just, I mean, effort. I mean, even with Rashad, like, after he got the ball caught on him, he caught the dude in, like, a heartbeat. So, I mean, just effort. After you make a mistake, you can't dwell on it. You got to have a short-term memory loss. So, that was just an amazing thing to do. Thank God the receiver dropped that pass. You know, because because Les is a little unusual in his mannerism, his speaking yeah. style. When things don't go well, he seems to be a magnet for criticism. And with you having known him so long, have you kind of felt that in the state of Louisiana? And do you ever find yourself defending him and trying to remind people, you know, like 100 victories in 10 years is pretty good? <laughs> uh, definitely. I have, I have the utmost respect for Coach Miles. You know, yeah. he does a great job. I don't see anything he should do different. You know, 10 wins in the last four seasons and still having that. Able, you can go five. So I mean, it speaks for itself. Like his resume speaks for itself. You don't really have to argue on him too much.